like thou shalt, uh, or when the Bible says thou shalt not commit adultery, right? The lie or the, the error is what? Committing adultery. When a man sleeps with another man's wife. When we rape, rob, and murder our own people, that's against God's truth. So the Bible says back in Zechariah again, listen, the definition of the truth, what did Christ say? Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So what do you, free from sin, free from sin, free from being captive by sin from Satan. You understand that? Sin will keep you as a slave to society. Think about this. When our brothers are continuing to murder one another, when you're continuing to have baby mama after baby mama, you're always captive in the white man system. Are you not? Look at the society today. When you're in the midst of sin, you stay in the midst of the lies. You understand? Read on. Come on. Let's get it. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 8 and verse 16. Come on. Come on. These are the things that you shall do. So there's a solution to the issues that we have, sisters. We go through a lot of problems in America. We still being killed by our people, but God gave the solution. You know what the solution is? Keep the commandments of God as Israel and the faith of Jesus the Christ, the black man, a black Messiah. Because Christ was never white. Like they say, Christ looked just like you. You understand that? And it's of God's power to move his prophets to teach this pure, pure message of God. That you are the sons and daughters of the Heavenly Father. You understand that? You are the Israelites. So what shall we do? Read it again from the top. Hey, brother, Andrew, right? Is that your name? Listen, here we go. This is the solution. You ask for the solution. A part of the solution is repentance. You understand that? You got to change. Here we go. A repentance means turning back to. You understand that? Because we turned away from God. You understand? Give us a little bit of time. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Read. Come on. These are the things that ye shall do. Uh -huh. Speak ye every man the truth. Of what is the truth? The commandments of God. We read it, remember? Yeah. Psalm chapter 119, verse 142. The commandments of God is truth. Read on. Speak ye truth how? Read. To his neighbor. We got to speak truth to our neighbors. That's right. I got to teach you the Bible. Because our people think that this is a white man's book. But it's not. We wrote the Bible. King James was black. We wasn't even around. Look, we wasn't even around in 1611. But all of a sudden we think that it was written by somebody else. You understand that? It don't make sense. Read, come on. Execute the judgment of truth. The Bible says execute the judgment of truth because our people and our communities, they need judgments. You understand that? We need order. We need balance and structure. I'm going to show you a judgment real quick. Dress code. Sis, I'm going to ask you real quick. If you seen any man walking around here in a dress, what would be your answer? Is that okay? Or is, oh, she said plain and simple. That's 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 not good. Hollywood thinks it's okay. But what? Who, who think it's okay? Read. Hollywood. He said okay. Hollywood it's think a man walk around in a dress is okay because you see that prevalent, right? Shanae, Martin Lawrence. Uh, what what you got? Who else be? Uh, Medea. Big Mama. Medea. So what? What would happen is you would put your your judgment according to society of sin, right? It would pervert your judgment judgment on God's commandments. I'm going to show you what the Bible says about dress code. You understand that? Read that Bible real quick. Come on, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Remember, the solution is execute judgment in your communities, amongst your neighbors. The neighbor is the children of your people. Listen, sis, real quick. What's your name? Azriana. What's your name, sis? Listen, that is a very beautiful name. It sounds Hebrew. I'm going to show you something real quick. God created you to be royal before this planet and us as kings, right? But we but we have to but we have to act like royalty. Read this verb. Come on, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall what? The woman. These were statutes and judgments for royalty. Hey brother, I know you had a question. I know you had a question. I'm gonna get your question. Just be a little patient. Read on, come on. The Bible what? Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto to a man. Hey, brother, you got the laws in you already. Won't you just come on home, bro? Yeah. He finishing the verse before we can even do it. Yeah. Read it again from the top. Come on, read. What does the Bible say? Because these were instructions on royalty for a woman. What does the Bible say? Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. What do women wear that belongs to a man? Pants. Do you know? 
note that on this earth today, the Christian churches have not gotten this right till today. Because you still will have women in the churches wearing man's attire. God said it's confusion. And just in case you lost, keep reading. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man. What is a woman's garment that a man might wear? Read. What is what is a huh? A blouse. What is another name for a blouse? A dress. Read it again from the top. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So remember what we read earlier. God said a man cannot cross dress. A woman cannot cross dress. You cannot say you're a man and wear a dress. And you cannot say you're a woman and wear pants. There's no such thing as woman pants. A woman got to be in a dress. Modestly. You understand that? What does that do? When, sis, when you put on the leggings or the pants, what's the first thing most women do? After they put it on into the mirror, they go to the side and they do a little pee test. You understand that? They want to see. They want to make sure that pee is there. What we do in the community is we promote lust. Bring it up. So our men can lust after the women, and then whatever you're doing, you're gonna have a man attract to. You understand that? And women end up attracting a whore right. and whoremongers. Go back to that in Zechariah. The, the Bible says this: the man, a woman, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman. His garment for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Right. So, go ahead. I'm reading from the whole Bible, yes. Very good answer. I'm not going to give you, I mean, very good question. I'm not going to give you what I feel. I'm going to give you what Christ said. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep this in mind. Anything that Paul, the disciples, Christ, anybody that spoke about in the New Testament, right? Where were they getting their information from? The Old Testament. The, the New Testament was not written yet. You understand that? The new, the disciples were saying, and we have to keep that in mind from the churches. They don't keep that basic understanding or historical fact in the Bible. So whenever they talked about the laws of God, it talked about the laws that what we call today the Old Testament. We called it back then the Bible. History. So let's see what Christ said. Very good. You know what I want. Let's get it. Come on. This is the book of John, chapter 5 and verse 46. For had ye believed Moses. No, 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 no. Let me get Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. So you asked about the law, and you asked, is that done away with? We're going to answer the question. Here we go. Come on. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 17. What did Christ say? Look, I want her to see it real quick. It's in red. You see that right there? We're reading the Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, right down there, all right? Let's see what Christ said. Come on. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Hold on, what? Think not that I am come to destroy the law. So where were the laws written when Christ spoke about this? See, there is a law that was abolished or that we were delivered from. It was the law of sacrifice. When you read in the history of the scriptures. But everything else pertaining to life, we still keep. Like, thou shalt not kill. Is that law done away with? Bring it up, Captain. Thou shalt not steal. Is that law done away with? Teach. So what about laws that we might not know? Do you know that you can't eat pork? That's in the Bible. So when Christ said this, read, come on. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. She said, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you can't eat it. Read on, come on. Or the prophet. Read it again on the top. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Or the prophet. What did God say? Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Or the prophet. You don't find the writings of the prophets all the time in what we call the New Testament. You find the prophets in the Old Testament. And Christ said what pertaining to the law and the prophets? Read, think not what? Think not. That I am come to destroy the law or the prophet. So now what you got to understand that Christ never destroyed what was written in the laws or the prophets. Read on. What did he do? Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Christ came to fulfill. Now, when you look up the definition of the word fulfill, it means to accomplish, to complete or do itself. You understand that? So when you fulfill, that means you're doing it. You understand that? So when Christ said, for an example, for us, that the laws of God are not done away with, we need the laws of God in our community. Yes. 
because we are the ones still killing each other. So when the churches teach off of the question that you ask, God's laws are done away with, you understand that? We have a mind of murder in our communities. Because in our churches, they don't enforce the laws of God. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Worship no other gods before God. You don't even know that you're worshiping another God when you celebrate Christmas. So they continue what well, is good that you do. But the masses of our people, they are lost. We don't know what the Christ say. What's your question? No. That was a lie that was taught from the white man. December, the word December was not even written in the Bible, but on December the 25th, the lie that's taught from Christianity is that a white man was born on December the 25th. You understand that? It's not even written in the Bible. The word Christmas ain't even in the Bible. That's how much we've been deceived by Antichrist. But sis, to get you back on the point, the laws of God pertaining to how you dress have not been changed. Because men and women were not equal. We're not the same. You understand that? Women, are the anatomy are created different from men. Men are masculine. Women are feminine. You understand that? Thus, God never forgot about you sisters. God gave you laws on how to take care of your body yourself and God gave us laws you understand that so read it again what did Christ say come on think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets uh -huh. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill what does it mean to fulfill it means to complete or do itself read on come on for verily I say unto you listen to what Christ said he said he's speaking to you today so you can learn verily I'm saying unto you what's your name brother no, what's your name? Huh? What part of Africa are you from? West Africa. What part of West Africa? Huh? Okay. A lot of our people are scattered in Africa today. You understand that? So you very well could be Israel. You understand that? Likewise with the black Americans. Today. How you know that you're Israel today is what happened to us in the Bible. Slavery came upon the children of Israel when we broke God's commandments. And one of those commandments are the commandments that Christ is trying to remind you that is not destroyed. Remember Christ said there shall be many false prophets, right? Yes. As long as you stay in your sin, you facilitate this wicked country called America. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth